Hello everybody. Back with Miss Clegg. We're going to create something today and I thought we'd be um, would be fun if we made a piece of surreal artwork. Surreal artwork is all around us. We probably don't even realize it. For instance, look at that. That's a hint. All right, so what we're going to do is first of all you want to think about your landscape. So you want to have either an indoor or an outdoor landscape, all right? And you want to have lots of objects, and they can be a noun, person, place, or thing, right? And I, thing is an object, right? So I look through several magazines, and I'm sure you've got some of these kind of magazines at home. Hopefully you do. If not, like I said, you can draw pictures. Um, but what I did was I just looked through some magazine, tore out the pages. Be sure you check with your parents to make sure that they are okay with it. Tore out the pages. And what I'm going to do now is cut out the pictures that I think are interesting. Because we are going to be putting them together, making a surreal piece of artwork. Um, so let me get to cutting out pictures. Here we go. All right, so once you have your pictures, you can kind of figure out what theme you're gonna do. And maybe you don't even really have a theme because with surrealism, um, it are, it, you combine objects that don't normally go together. So I think we have quite a good collection here. Mm -hmm. Now, what we're gonna do is create a landscape. All right, and we're going to be inspired by Salvador Dali's piece. And let's first of all start off with a blank piece of paper and just use your normal crayons. And I'm going to get out some colors that would create a nice sunrise or sunset and just create my background for the landscape. So I've got out some reds and oranges and all those beautiful warm colors. And then I'm gonna even get out some of the cool colors and go into maybe the early morning or night sky. So what I'm gonna do is create, first of all, I will create that horizon line. Who remembers what the horizon line is? Horizon line is when the sky meets the ground or a body of water. And what I'm doing is I'm just gonna lay down some color because honestly, most of this is going to be covered up with a collage. So now I'm just adding some of that reflective light in there. And so you can see I used quite a few colors. Um, maybe, there we go, maybe that's it. Anyway, so you wanna um, work from dark that goes further away in the horizon line, and then let your colors get lighter as they come towards you, and just have fun with it. Now if your landscape is maybe on land, mine is not, your colors would probably be a little bit different. But just have fun with it, create your landscape. And then what you're gonna do is all those photos that we cut out, you're gonna to begin to arrange them and just have fun. Remember the broccoli that I cut out? Arrange the broccoli. I think the broccoli is gonna be like this magical tree that is coming out of the water. And there's a little Finding Nemo fish and this lady that she is looking through what could be like seaweed or moss or something she's looking out and in the distance with her binoculars she sees this man jumping off of a rock but we want to make sure that this gets really surreal so i'm putting some objects in here that definitely don't belong because see this dude on a scooter 
He's on the back of that Viking ship. Awesome. And then look who's jumping out of the water over the rock. Maybe the turtle is hanging out on top of the tree or whatever that is. And here is an octopus in the water. All right, so just have fun with it. Surreal. It's dreamlike.